Hello everybody, here we are at Friday Games number 20, and yes, that's right, it is the 2000 subscriber special, so thank you so much for that, and welcome to the stream. Hopefully we have a pretty epic schedule, and hopefully we have some pretty good games um, today, because that is the plan, that is what we want, that is how you have a good time here on the channel. So today... Um, as we wait for a couple people to join, today is all about, well, the subscriber special. It is the 2000 uh, subscriber special. And so, obviously, like usual, you can comment in the chat what vehicles you want me to play. But today, there will be a bit of a theme. There will be playing of um, vehicles I don't actually like. Um, I'm going to jump into one game just while we wait. Um, I've been trying to rearrange my... Uh, my customs uh, or my presets at the moment uh, so let me just do that Bundeswehr I spelled that wrong so while we wait um, I'm just gonna organize some stuff and then people can join in and start requesting vehicles that I don't like for me to play and yes that does include the Yak-15 so yeah here we go uh, until then though we're just gonna kind of hang out in whatever really not sure what plane to start with or what tank to start with we could do either um i think we should actually start with some of the german tanks considering i did a video on the jagdpanther earlier today uh, which you should recommend uh, or should check out because uh, there was some pretty epic sniping going on in that game so i think just to start with we'll play some german tanks uh, some very lovely german tanks until we get round to actually playing the terrible vehicles like the Yak-15. Uh, hopefully not the French reserves again, please. <laughs> I have some dignity. Um, and then, yeah, um, just all sorts of weird things that you guys can suggest. You never know, it might go well, it might not. Who knows? So we're going to start with the Jagdpanther. Should probably turn it down just a bit. <clears throat> so here we go. If you have just joined, then, uh, well, I'm going to thank you because you're probably a subscriber. So thank you for 2,000 subscribers. Once again, you're probably going to be hearing me say that. At this rate, with the rate we're going, we might be having to say thank you for 2,500 subscribers soon enough. That would be pretty amazing. I'm just so happy that our channel is finally going somewhere, sort of. Um, so, yeah, uh, welcome to the stream if you have just joined. We're going to be playing Terrible Vehicles today. Except for this one game where we're going to be playing good vehicles, but most of them are stock, or nearly stock, so uh, they're not that terrible. But after that, we're going to be playing all the infamously bad vehicles. Just your suggestion, so comment down in this stream chat uh, what you would like me to play. Okay, how are so many people dying already? Did I spawn late? No, I don't think I spawned late. So in this game, rather than being a pure sniper, we're going to be using this tank more of uh, an assault tank. Front towards the enemy, fairly close range, not that close, sorry. Um... And yeah, trying to use the armor to good effect and the gun to good effect as well. Front towards the enemy. Breakthrough tank destroyer. Which is not what the Yag Panther was designed for, but it's what we're going to be using it for today. Is that a T29? I was trying to aim for his lower plate there. He hasn't seen us yet. Oh, there he goes. There was someone else behind him though. Wait for the smoke to clear. I can't see him. He might be over there, though. I don't see him. Oh, hello. Cheeky. Bit of tunnel vision. There's a guy behind the T29. Ah, oh, there's a walker bulldog. A bit slow on the trigger there. May as well keep moving. There is a Pershing flanking us, though, so I should probably try and do something about that. Oh, we did actually hit him, but it didn't go in. <coughs> I 
It might be a T26E5, which is why I didn't penetrate. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you mind? Got to be careful on the flank. It was a T26E5, okay. With their one guy flanking dead, we can be a bit more uh, bold and not have to worry about getting shot in the side. What's behind this house? Oh, it's just died. Everyone's dying before I get the chance to kill them. Myself. Don't want to overextend, though. Panther does not have very good side armor. Most tanks don't, to be honest. But still. I think we'll hold here for a bit, maybe. Just steadily push up. does it. Look both ways as if you're crossing a road. I can hear something rushing. There's a very big fire. They can hear me or, or they can probably hear me so I've got to be cautious. That was a T-34. I saw someone coming down the road. Oh, they've just been taken out. Okay. Oh, it was an SU 12254. I'm glad someone took them out because that would have been a tough one to take care of myself. <clears throat> See what I mean? Everyone's dying before I get to them myself. Okay. Our team is stomping through. This is like a textbook assault. We're gradually all pushing through at the same time, basically, all across the map. I guess this is what a breakthrough assault looks like, really. Oh, the Super Sherman. Only the radiator, that's quite unfortunate. Okay, well this is going to be a quite a quick game, to be honest. Very one-sided game. We've only lost eight tanks in this entire game. And they've lost 22. Oh, here comes the parade. Oh, there's a Super Sherman over there. Do you reckon he's still got spawn protection? Nope! Apparently not. Okay, well, time to repair. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's quite the beating we've taken. What is going on? So much tracer. Okay. Ah! A challenger. Oh no, he's got spawn protection and he's got Sabo. Oh no. It's all gone wrong. Oh, bounced a T34 100. That is pretty cool. Oh, there's no escape for you now, sir. No, no, he's got spawn protection as well. What's going on? Angle, angle, wiggle. No! <laughs> Just in time. Ah, fair enough.
What can you do? Yeah, right through the front plate there. Well, time to jump in a plane. I've been having fun with the horny, so I've been trying to get this thing to work. It's got a fun little nose-mounted 50mm cannon, which is um, pretty good at killing tanks from the side, rear, and from the roof. And you don't see many of them either, which is kind of a shame. They are pretty helpless when enemy fighters start showing up, but um, aside from that, they're pretty fun. them first. Is that a tank? That is a tank. don't think I can penanize two though. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. There are limitations that come with using such a weapon, such as the inability to kill heavy tanks, but... Oh wow, they're capping A? What? Who the heck's an A? Oh, this guy. M109. Oh, that's a bit low. Okay. <laughs> that was one strong tree, I guess. Well, we got an assist. That's not so bad. May as well jump in the 190A8. It's unlikely we're going to catch up to the battle. Actually, I think we've won. We've hit 60. We have won. That's the first time I've seen a battle actually end from getting the 60 kills required. Okay, so not the most exciting or chaotic game um, in the Jagdpanther and Friends, but it wasn't meant to be. It was not the focus of this stream. The focus of this stream is the pain and suffering that comes from playing the next few vehicles that you're about to see. Now, it's not just going to be the Yag, uh, the Yak-15. There are plenty of other vehicles that I strongly dislike. Um, some of them will probably be hot takes, some of them less so. So, let's have a look. Let's start with Germany while we're here. Um, we might play the JU-388 later. But first, I think... Um, ooh, what should we play? What should we play? There's so much choice. Well, let's, tr let's try my most played nation at the moment. Uh, which is the US. Is there a red herring amongst this tech tree. There probably is. I'm just trying to find it. P36G I don't think is particularly good because the P40, both versions of the P40 are at the same BR and <laughs> it just kind of completely outshines this thing. Uh, if any of you have any suggestions then pop them in the chat and I'll gladly play them. Oh, the Kingfisher is not particularly good. Sorry Kingfisher fans, but it really does kind of suck. Hmm, do we play the Kingfisher? Oh, it's got one single 30 caliber machine gun. Yikes. Maybe later in this stream. At the moment, I'm not feeling that brave. Okay. Uh, we will play one of the Italians, I think. I was trying to reorganize my presets, but I haven't got around to doing Italy yet, so... They've all got funky names. Oh, this thing. It's not a plane you see very often. Let's start off by playing Mark Olin's CR-42. It's not necessarily a bad aircraft, but I need something to unlock a bad aircraft, and that is going to be this little thing. Now, I don't often play this lower tier, but, um, yeah, it's a premium aircraft, so it'll be fairly quick to unlock this disastrous looking aircraft. <clears throat> so the CR-42 was an okay plane in real life. Wasn't amazing because, well, any biplane in World War II is not going to do too well. The CR-42 wasn't bad. It was pretty good as far as biplanes go. The only problem is it was in an era where everyone started using mon monoplanes, which are, for the most part, vastly superior. 
And, well, when these things are kind of making the backbone of your Air Force in 1940-odd, it doesn't look too good, and it doesn't end too well either. And thus was the story of the CR-42. What is his stats like? Not that fast. Doesn't turn that well either for a biplane. Rate of climb's okay, and you've got two 50 caliber machine guns, but they're Italian 50 cal, so they're basically half as good as any other nations. We have spawned in late as well. It's only 1.3 though, so don't get your hopes up. It's not, it's not meant to be the best plane ever or anything. There is the CR-32, which is the Italian reserve aircraft. It's not bad, actually. It's the only Italian... or well, it's the only reserve plane that gets 50 cows. Oh, hello. But again, Italian 50 cows, so take it with a pinch of salt. And we've been fully up to it. Okay, a P-400. Don't go head-on in a Heinkel 112. What are you doing? Ouch. Oh god, he got a pretty big hit on my engine straight away, which is quite unfortunate for us. Come on. How am I not hitting this guy? How about this guy? Bring it on. Oh, we got a pilot snipe. Let's just hope our engine doesn't cook itself. Oh, that's the one with the cannons. Ha ha ha, funny. Derpy plane. Oh, P-26 on fire. Ha ha ha. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to return to base really soon. It's my rival, the Gladiator. I'd probably rather the Gladiator, to be, to be honest. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no, he clipped our wing. <laughs> Thierry Henry claims the kill. Okay, we did pretty well, actually. Flak Alley. The celebrity among us. Welcome to the stream. Uh, you're you're an experienced War Thunder player. What um, what terrible vehicles should I play? Because that's going to be the theme of uh, today's stream. So if you have any like terrible vehicle suggestions, then do let me know. More than just low tiers as well, because I I'm trying to spread it out a bit. What's France got? They've always got something to laugh at. The MS-410, not a particularly good aircraft. Really is not. This gets EFS. Honestly, if you have to use EFS in this thing, you're probably dead, so I wouldn't bother. Al Bundy, welcome to the chat and the stream as well. Hope you're having a good day, friend. I sure as hell am. We're celebrating a big day. Does France get their own decal section? They do, yes. Of course. It's not very exciting, but there you go. For some reason, the French Navy emblem is in with the tanks, but... Uh, sorry, I'm just struggling to choose at the moment. At least it's Friday, yeah. 
Okay. Ooh, that that is a challenge. The PO2M. Oof, God. We'd be here all day, so I don't think I should. Okay, how about we play the... Ooh. Genuinely not sure. The problem with playing... I might have to edit the video description, actually. I don't think it's going to be um, focused on terrible vehicles. I think we'll sprinkle some terrible planes throughout. But um, there's lots of vehicles I actually do want to play. So um, I might just... Uh, edit that after this stream has ended. Okay, for now we're going to play the... Yak-3U. Which isn't necessarily a terrible plane, I just don't get on with it particularly well. I don't see the point in it. It's just a faster Yak-3, and that's, that's about it. But you're at 5.7 and you're gonna need a lot more than just a faster Yak-3. When you're at 5.7. Ah, you were a victim to the Silver Lion crates as well. I did do... Uh, well, I was nearly going to do a video on the latest batch, because I also bought a bunch, but unfortunately I didn't get anything uh, worth noting. So, yeah, I don't think it would have made a very interesting video. I think my luck with those has run out. I haven't pulled anything good in a while. Hello, 1JZ GTE. That is a uh, name that just rolls off the tongue. I'll just call you JZ for now. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good time. We sure, we sure are. It's a merry Friday. Friday Games 20, celebrating 2,000 subscribers. Maybe I should just play all the vehicles I do like, then. That would probably make more sense, considering we're celebrating. And wow, the planes I want in War Thunder is my most popular video now, in terms of views, comments, and um, likes as well. Actually, I'm not sure if it is. It's neck and neck with the... Uh, 100 loot crates video. Oh, it is more popular! <laughs> oh, we have a new crowning achievement. Although, for some reason, my YouTube won't update and it still thinks it's like the fourth most popular video on the channel. Okay, anyways, back to the epic action, which is on the way as we fly towards the battle. You love my wishlist series, I'm glad. Well, I'm glad it's so successful because, well, first of all, I wanted that specific video to be successful. It's one thing having, like, a covering a dev blog be successful, and it's quite another thing having a video that you put a lot of time and effort into be successful. In an ideal world, both would be successful, but um, I'm happy this one did, because like I said, that, <laughs> that second video, I was from, I started trying to record it and edit it at 2pm, <laughs> and it wasn't ready to upload to YouTube till 2am, so yeah, and I didn't have a break. I probably should have, but I wanted to uh, get it out in time for the start of the day, so I pushed on. Oh, you can't fly due to motion sickness, yikes. Well, hopefully the stream isn't too jarring for you then. I will admit, I do tend to pan the camera around quite a lot. We're going to be spreading it out between planes and tanks, though, throughout this game. <gasps> There's a terrible plane, a Heinkel 162. How about we just kill that instead? Come on. There you go. Good luck trying to fly with one wing. And a 109K as well. It's not such a terrible plane. Although I guess he didn't like his. Good 
good stuff. Spitfire 22, that is not a terrible plane. I think we've been fully up tiered as well. Can I snipe him? Gamer snipe? Oh, that was so close! That was so close! That would have been hilarious. But it was not to be. I hit the al algorithm hard, yeah. It's about time I did. Not saying all my videos are that good, but um, I'm happy it was successful anyways. Seems like most of the videos we're doing ever since that one are also doing well because of it. Like the influx of new people on the channel were giving all my other videos a go. The only one that is not doing as well proportionately is the, oh, I was looking at my phone, is the uh, tank sniping one. Uh, and it's still, I guess, pretty early to judge. Oh, have I forced him into a turn? Oh, he's not pulling out of that. There you go, there is your average German main. <laughs> Just plummets into the ground like an absolute donkey. Oh, hello. JU-288. You hear that Sky Raiders miniguns all the way from here. I don't know about that. I mean, maybe. Give it time. We'll be back to, like, no views in, in due time. I'll play a Spitfire after this, just because. I have to do it every once in a while. Make it a stream to tradition. Play at least one variant of the Spitfire every stream. Who's going to win? JU-288 or Yak-3? Ooh, they've all joined in. The hounds smell blood. Yeah, the Bearcat will probably win. If he doesn't, I'll be shocked. Oh god, everyone's going after him. And there he goes. I may as well land. The airfield's right there. We had a buy on our team. Wow. I'm doing terribly. How have I got such a low score from a kill? What is this? Rate this landing, guys. Do not include the part where I'm trying to shave off speed. That bit doesn't count. Oh. Okay, I've just lost a flap. Pretty good regarding I was missing a flap. Better than his, anyway. Oh, too much break, too much break. Okay, at least our pilot didn't die. Very nearly did, based on the x-ray. Am I still grinding? Not really, no. I haven't finished the game, but um, there's still loads of vehicles I... Um, I've probably unlocked less than half of the vehicles in-game, but I've got most of the ones that I actively want. It's not till like they add the vehicles that I mentioned in the video uh, that I would actually like properly start grinding again. Ah, there he is. Flak Alley's back. Anything French low tier? Wow, you really don't like me, huh? <laughs> oh, that is. Uh, that's what happens when you put full power with the brakes on. Oh well, the game's ended anyway. Not the best game I've ever had, not going to lie. But, um, well, like I said, it's not a plane I particularly enjoy. French low-tier, I assume you mean tanks. French low-tier tanks, wow, that is evil. Okay. I've got a preset called it, uh, called Pure Pain, I assume that's the one. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, um, I suppose it can't be helped. We'll chuck this in just because I've like used it once and that was it. 
Okay, here we go. Who remembers this thing? Yeah, this was added in Winter Quest uh, about two years ago. Very forgotten aircraft because not many people unlocked it, and those that did didn't really play it. But um, yeah, so we've got 118 kilo bombs and 40, 73 kilo bombs. Okay, we'll go with those. Uh, 118. Derp. Okay, fine. Actually, no. I know what I want to play. Sorry, I keep changing. Just trying to see if I have a preset for it. That's not really a lineup I'm going to use, so I think I can delete that. We're just going to add, like, a specialized preset purely for... Like specific vehicles. We're going to have the B1 and the Char 2C. I've not played the B1 all that much. It's not necessarily bad, but it's going to be stock pretty much. Okay, so Char 2C, the big boy, and the Char B1. The almost big boy. Yeah, that is completely stock. Oh god, this is going to be terrible. Okay. The War Thunder unlock its sheet so I can just dunk on AI and... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Although, to be fair, I wish you had more control over the test flight. I wish you could, like, make your own settings. You can do that in, like, the, um, single mission thing. It's not quite the same, though. I wish there was, like, an easier way to just, like, set up a room where you just go against, I don't know, 30 of a set kind of bomber formation or something. This tank is not very fast. This is also a very bad map for this tank. Fantastic. Yeah, not many people do enjoy the Char 2C. I mean, they enjoy it, they see it in the hangar, and they're like, ho, 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 yeah, bring it on, and then they actually play it, like, ah. Hang on, this thing only does 12 miles an hour. Oh, sorry, 9.3, never mind, even better. It also does not have that good armor. Even though it has a 75 mil gun, it's only got 55 millimeters of penetration. Yeah, this thing. Oh, <laughs> oh, I see you. Ow, there goes one crew member. The guy alive? Oh, he is alive. Well, not anymore. Do I just hear attack the deep points? Oh, we've been up to it as well, just for good, just for good measure. Come on, big boy, power! Well, well, well. If it isn't Blue himself, welcome to the stream. Here to celebrate my epic victory, I assume. This is not a good vehicle. It really isn't. Anything this slow probably is hopelessly useless in War Thunder. This kind of makes me want to play the T-95 as well, for some reason. Because at least that thing has armor. Oh, 
Whoa. Hello. Ow. Too high. Oh, stop it. Can I actually hit something this entire game, please? Apparently not, no. Ah! That tells me it's impossible. Oh, there you go. I actually got a hit. Ow. Ah! Yeah, the battle bus was destroyed. How about the char... I've never played this, that's how you can tell. Um, because I've got full ammo. Right, we don't need any HE. Oh god, this is not going to end well. You know it's bad when the smaller caliber gun has more penetration. I'd rather be in that M22. Okay, here we go. It was not a normal field trip, no. It didn't, it didn't have the frizz. I use this thing faster, but because of stock, you can't really notice the difference. Oof, that turret rotation speed is pretty awful. Starting to pick up some speed now. Oh, the B1 tur, yeah. I've heard stories, I have heard stories. The armor is meant to be good. The guns though, the oh, gosh, no. It's just a poor man's Matilda in my opinion. Hello Ruby Fox, welcome to the stream. How goes? How goes? I go pretty well. It's Friday, we're doing a stream, I'm being shot at by a Marder 3 of all things. It's like the only tank on their team that can reliably penetrate my armor. And I get a non-pen on a Marder, what is going on? This game, it's just, just not going well. <laughs> Okay, I think that's enough of that. Flack Alley, you had your fun. That's fine. Okay, that let's never do that again. That was awful. <laughs> that was actually terrible. Let's delete the preset, never to be used again. Um, I was going to play something instead, but I can't remember what it was. Oh yeah, the T95. It's not necessarily a bad vehicle, it's just a bit of an acquired taste, I think. Uh, kind of want to make a. I'm going to make a derpy preset. A preset designed around the T95 and everyone's favourite. Not the F-104. Um, the M-22. <laughs> oh yes, you know it's you know it's time for it. I just wish you could scout in it, but you can't because it's not a high enough tier. Um, what would be a good strike aircraft? We'll go with a Thunderjet, I guess. Because I have a very snazzy skin. Look at that. Okay, so we have the T-95 Doom Turtle and the M-22, who looks very scared. The two tanks of all time. They are, in fact, the tanks of all time. Mm. Good map. 
for the T95 because all the action is focused in usually the same area and it just turns into like a mosh pit so I say we just drive this along the river hope we don't get shot from across the river and watch the magic happen are we down tiered? we might be down tiered I think we are Okay. Come on, big boy, let's do this. M46. Oh, I forgot to put the, one of my favorite tanks in this lineup. How could I forget the M46? For goodness sake. I could play the Black Prince. I don't actually dislike the Black Prince. Maybe because I'm a patriot, but I think the Black Prince is pretty fun. It's pitifully slow. But um, it's not terrible. Once you actually get to the fight, it's better than a tiger in like every way, so... How wholesome is this? Already? Oh, this guy's stuck. To worry, I'll save you, friend. Now, what would be the best way to do this? Now, this isn't a very fast vehicle, but it is very heavy, so it should be good at pulling things. Are we on? We are on. Pull! That is not how physics work, but I think it's working. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, that was that's my Wi-Fi. Did it work? This is not a good sign. Wi-Fi is still on, just to check. Okay, he's good. Well, that was interesting, <laughs> but we got him out, so it was uh, all good in the end. Let's hope the battle's not going to be over by the time we arrive, because this is the slowest tank in the game. Ah, ha, ha, ha. M109. Planes where they should add to War Thunder. My Wi Fi is normally good, I just don't know why it's bugging out lately. Yeah, we'll add the M109 to a part 3 of planes I want added to War Thunder. Let me go first, friend. I'll be the shield. I can hear a Russian. Oh, there he goes. I had that one. Alright, what's the situation? Lots of guys at B, by the looks of it. Douche. Don't try and squeeze past. Look at this guy. Look at this clown. What are you looking at me for? Repair him. <laughs> this is a slow tank. I can't afford to stop for everything. Oof. Wow. These Tiger 2s are getting wrecked. Where am I going anyway? I don't know. Let 
we see some action. Excuse me. Move. Forwards. This is why you should let me go first. I'm just going to have to push him if he stops again. me of the of the moon bear ah yes another plane that I didn't actually mention but I did show in the video um, that is also on the list technically if I showed it but even if I didn't talk about it then yes I do want to add it there you go wait click on someone your own size I'm trying to draw their attention no they killed the M109 Holy crap, where did this guy come from? What? Whoa! Whoa. Oh god. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! What is going on? <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, get some! Oh no, they've got the barrel. That's very bad. No, <laughs> someone help me! Where's the team? <laughs> Go away! Help me! Help me! He's got potato aim. Oh no, a Pershing. I'm not going to bounce a Pershing. No, someone, please! Ouch, that one hurt. Go away! Oh god, I have 50 cows overheating. Oh no. Oh, they got us in the end. Okay. I'm blaming the team. Blame the team. Oh, that's funny, though. It's funny. T95 is memes. He will not die. He will fight back. There is a beast deep inside you. Alright, time to get some revenge. Yeet. Why was that so long? I've got an assault fuse. Why does it take so long for the bomb to go off? Actually, come to think of it, I've got an assault fuse. I really shouldn't have one. No idea why these bombs are going off with such a delay. Yeah, it gave him all that time to run and he still... Well, yeah, I, I assumed... Yeah, I did have a feeling the T-34 wouldn't be able to pen me. Especially if they used the more popular shell, the BR-365A, I think it's called. Or 165A or something. Which has 135mm of penetration, and holy crap, where did this guy come from? I kind of want to play this lineup again. We're going to have a look at that protection and analysis. It was a good thing I lost my track right next to the uh, wall. 
so that way my rear was covered. This time we'll add in the um, M46 pattern, because I do like me the M46. There we go. Even got an ace crew for it, would you look at that? Let's have a look. So if he was using the normal shell, then he could, technically, he might just not have known where to shoot. Okay, to be fair, he could just about. He could get through there. Which is interesting. Yeah, there's actually quite a few areas, but if he was using this one, which he probably was, it's a more popular one. Oh no, he had plenty of options, he might have just not known where to shoot. Oh, did they change the assault fuse then? I guess it stops players blowing themselves up all the time, but I'm still going to go for a two second activation like normal. Hey, we finally got the North Holland map. I've only done this map once. It seems to be very similar in layout to the map we just did, so that means take the T95, steamroll forwards, and don't stop. Unfortunately, it looks like we've been up to it this time. Yeah, slight up to. At least the IS-3 is on our, our team, so that's uh, good. Is that a Skoda? It's meant to be a Skoda. What is that? <laughs> Look at that car. And there it goes. Probably deserves to be destroyed. I think some of these cars are loosely based on real cars. Like, that looks like a BW Polo or a Golf. Yeah, definitely. I don't know what the one that was run over was, though. I don't think that's a real car. Speed and power. Flank via river. I would, I guess. I just hope there's no one gonna outflank me. Luckily, the T95 has pretty good side armor because of the huge area covered by the tracks. I mean, how good is the actual side armor? 152, which covers this bit, and then there's like 60 up here. Instantly get wrecked by a Tiger 2 somehow. It's not going to go through me, I don't think. Oof, through the upper plate. It feels bad then. Sorry, house. Can I really not fit through there? I don't even know what that is. Don't want to angle too much. Okay, there we go. Doom Turtle Power! So you seem to do what that T29 is doing. I would do that, but this tank's a little bit too slow for that. Seems like a good method, though. You can catch people off guard pretty easily, but I suppose you are pretty exposed. Mm. 
more. Oh, hello. I'm not going to go into the enclosed area like that. Otherwise, I'll probably get flanked quite easily. So we're just going to find the main road and just drive down there. Oh my god, look at this. I can't even see! Where's Tiger 2P? Oh no, I am too high! Let's try and track it then. You, sir, are mine. Well, that didn't go quite to plan. But now we can just be a blockade, and holy crap, look at the map. They ain't getting through this anytime soon, that's for sure. Hey, he's actually helping me. Yeah, I suppose it still is a new map. In fact, it's the newest ground map still. Whoa, what did he get shot by? Don't stop, we must push on! Hello, Panther F. Oh, I guess he doesn't want to play. Crawl forwards! Now this is a breakthrough tank destroyer. Need the assault. Is but a scratch, gentlemen. What's happening on the other side of this ridge? Holy crap, that's a 4005! I just saw that at the last second. Oh no, that was a brown pens moment. Holy crap. Look at that dent. <laughs> Ouch. If he aimed just a little bit higher, he would have had me there. Oh my god, it's a Yag Tiger. Oof, I didn't know I had that much pen. I would do just barely. That would have just barely gone through. Gotta save this M46. Oh my god, there's another 4005! Oh god, no, 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 no. Gotta get rid of him first. What? What happened there? Haha, <laughs> I get wrecked. Whoa, bit of lag. We're still alive. Look at the punishment we've taken here. Oh no, there's a pecan. There's a pecan. Fun sponge alert. Hello, Tiger 2. Ah, what was that? A Conway? Yeah, I guess that would go through. <laughs> Look at the punishment we're taking. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that Conway's gonna kill me. Yep, there you go. Wow, that was crazy. Yeah. Nasty stuff. Heavy tank destroyers. Alright, let's put this on two seconds this time. Thank you very much. But wow, the punishment we took in that. That was crazy. Okay, we're coming up on halfway through the stream. One hour to go. If you guys have any more vehicle requests, then do let me know now. Are you an air or ground um, main now? Now, probably air. But I'm not really trying to grind anything, so... 
I'm not really a main of either at the moment. I kind of just play whatever I fancy, well, depending on what the mood is. Casually, probably air, but it kind of changes. Whoa, that was low. How did that not kill it? Oof. I think it's safe to say we have air superiority. Got the Korean War Squad. Corsairs and Thunder Jets. Oh, this guy is charging into battle. Look at him go. He's going to die for that. Yeah, there you go. Just spotted my next victim. How does a G6 kill a Corsair? Oof, there he goes. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. And that looks like the game. Good stuff, team. Good stuff. You'd love to see some air. Well, looks like air is what we can do. I guess we'll play a Spitfire. A humble Spitfire. That is a very nice user skin. Uh, this is based on... This is actually an old user skin. Um, this one in particular... Uh, you can still find it on War Thunder Live. But it's one of the ones that says does not meet the requirements of the game because it's quite an old one. But for some reason it still works for me. Um, you can tell it's an old one because the silver, because that's kind of that kind of grey colour is actually meant to be silver, and that's what the game used to look like. See, that's silver, whereas like it's kind of grey on here. But I think it still looks nice. I think I wish some of the shiny planes, like the chrome planes, should be a bit shinier. For example, like say the um, I don't know, like it's P51H maybe. It's not that shiny. I think I've got to use the skin on that as well. Yeah, that's like not hugely shiny, whereas some of the skins are very shiny. Best example would be my F86F. Just get a load of this thing. Now that is shiny. Look at that. Whew. Beautiful. But yes, let's play a Spitfire. I have a whole preset just for Spitfires. And we can alternate. Uh, in fact, I have every Spitfire in the game. Every English Spitfire, anyway. Even all the premiums. Actually, no, there's one I don't have. I do not have this one. Uh, which is stonkingly expensive on the marketplace. And I don't have this one just because it's just a reskin. Not a very exciting reskin, either. My own Spitfire 2, as you can tell, already has a very lovely skin on it, so I don't really need another. That's a nice camo. That's a nice camo. I think we'll play this one just because I haven't spaded it yet. Oh, we're so close. In fact, one gold away. There you go. We've got all the flight performance upgrades, so why is it not... Is this the max speed of this? It is. Okay. Well, we may as well go with this one. <coughs> yeah, I love me some chrome planes. I'm always on the hunt for a nice skin uh, in-game. Basically, all the planes I, and tanks that I like using often have a skin, pretty much. Unless they have a bunch of skins available in-game already. Okay, is this an up tier? Probably. It is. Great. Let's see how well we do then. Space fire time! This is a nice skin as well, I think. I used to wonder why there aren't more plane skins available in game. Oh, the speed! Look at the acceleration on this thing. It's like a homesick angel. 
And of course, because, um, well, they haven't remodeled the Griffin ones, but this isn't a Griffin Spitfire, so it does have the remodeled cockpit, and it looks very nice. Okay, we're just going to go on full power for a bit, climb to maybe 4,000 meters or 3,500, then do a s shallow climb to pick up a bit more speed. And look how quickly this thing <laughs> climbs, it really is pretty funny. One of the fastest climbing World War II aircraft uh, in the game. What's the best Spitfire? Well, my favorite one is the Spitfire 24, not necessarily to play but in like real life, because I love the Griffin Spitfires, and in my opinion they're cooler and prettier than the Merlin Spitfires. They are probably slightly harder to play though in game. Uh, in game, the best Spitfire tier for tier is probably the standard Mark 9 here, because it's just really good. I did a video on my top 10 favourite planes to play in War Thunder as of uh, last year, like over the course of the year what were my top 10 favourite planes to play, and number two was the Spitfire Mark 9. So I'd probably say that. It's just such a good plane. I might play it after this just because uh, you mentioned it. Excuse me. The F-86H. I'm not familiar with that one actually. I mentioned the F-86D in uh, video, but I'm not familiar with the F-86. It looks very similar to the current Sabres we have in the game, but a copy-paste version of a plane I like is fine by me. What was number one? The Hellcat. I should probably play the Hellcat. I mean, let's play the Hellcat next, because, um, you know, 2,000 subscribers only happens once. And, um, unless you're very unfortunate. <laughs> and so we may as well play our favourite plane. I do think it needs a slight model update, though, because it's not nearly as durable as it should be. But, um, I've also no idea why it's only 3.3 .3 in better rating. But. Oh, look, this guy wasn't paying attention. Let's jump this guy. Nice one, bro. That is why situational awareness <laughs> is the most important thing in this game. Right, this guy is paying attention, but we have the altitude. And oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> well, stealth rounds are cheeky. Well, that was rude. I guess he got revenge on his uh, fellow Corsair being shot down there. Re-engined F-86, F-40, and a bunch of other modifications. Had some trouble, but it was quite good for what it was. Well, I'd be all too happy to have more similar variants of aircraft that we really have in-game. Especially the older planes. Because um, a long time ago, before I even started playing the game, there was a... Um, what was I going to say? There was a list that Gaijin published of all the planes that they planned to add to the game. And most of them were um, basically versions of planes similar to planes we really have in game. Like more modifications, more variants of the Mitchell, for example. Uh, they plan to add four more American Mitchells. And personally, I'd be fine with that, providing they just added them all at the same time. Because, I mean, they've got the models ready, they've got everything ready, so... Yeah, but filtering it through slowly over time, which is what they're currently doing, um, is a lot less exciting. Because then people groan, it's like, oh, it's just another Mitchell or something. But like, if you just dump them in, don't make them the focus. Or just maybe say, like, in one general announcement, say that a bunch of planes already in game are going to get similar variants, just to spread it out a bit more. Um, 
Like, more variants of the B-17. Why is the B-17F not already in-game? That is a question that I need answered. But anyways, the Hellcat. That was quite a disappointing game in the Spitfire, not gonna lie. I might play another Spitfire later on. Ooh, we're so close. 890, wow. So yeah, this is uh, my favourite plane to play in the game. The mighty, mighty Hellcat. You work on restoring a B-25J? Where is this, and how do I sign up? <laughs> it's probably in the US, but... Um, you guys are so lucky. There was a... You managed to, like, pull together, like, 11 Mitchells flying together. That's insane, because in the UK... Mitchells are rare as rocking horse shit, <laughs> I'm telling you. They are not easy to come by. Luckily, I'm going to an air show in a month-ish. And, um... Well, maybe a bit more than a month. And they're going to have a Mitchell there. Um, at Duxford. For once. I've seen a Mitchell before, but they are so hard to come by in the UK. It's the Red Bull one, so it's not got all the nice markings. But it is a pretty chrome... Mitchell, so it is, um, you know, I suppose you can't be mad at Red Bull for putting their logo on it, considering they're the ones paying to keep it flying, so. Well, one day I'll go to the US and see all these wonderful planes that I don't get to see over here. I suppose it works both ways, because we have a bunch of Spitfires, and I guess you still get Spitfires in American air shows, but not nearly to the extent that you get them in over here. Yeah, I'll go to Roshkosh someday. That is, uh, that is the plan. I've got uh, plenty of Royal International Air tattoos under my belt, but I've never been to Oshkosh. It's like the Glastonbury of um, air shows. Never seen a Hellcat fly as well, which is quite a shame, considering it's probably my favourite World War II plane. In fact, come to think of it, I don't think I've seen a Hellcat ever. Even just in a museum. Which is pretty crazy. I've only seen one B-29, which is my favourite bomber. So, yeah, there you go. And I've never seen a B-29 fly either, so there's all that. Get a bit more altitude. Ooh, we're gaining subscribers while I'm doing the stream. That's quite exciting. There's a privately owned Hellcat at Duxford, are you sure? I know they finished restoring a Wildcat. It's like a desert wildcat that they have. Um, but I haven't seen that fly. I don't know where it is. I think I've seen it like once in a mu in like one of the restoration hangars, but no idea where it went. We do have a martlet in the UK, which is a wildcat. Fairly regular uh, appearance at Duxford, but I have never seen a hellcat for some reason. All the cool European props and jets, though. Honestly, say you have a better variety over the U over there than the US. Well, Oshkosh doesn't really focus on warplanes, I don't think. It does have, like, warplanes there in a fairly substantial number, but... If you want to go to, like, a warplane-themed airshow, then I think Planes of Fame would probably do you better. 
But even then, yeah, it is mostly American aircraft. You can see a lot of Mustangs, even quite a lot of Lightnings, which are also very rare in the UK. Um, I suppose we probably do have better variety. We get lots of Spitfires, do get a lot of Mustangs as well. A Thunderbolt. We get all the um, movie BF-109s. Not quite the real one, but the Spanish one that we used to Battle of Britain and Dunkirk and so on. Um, we've had some Yaks a couple times, a couple Yak 3s at one point, which was pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think now. I go to enough of these things, for some reason I'm drawing a blank. Oh my god, I swear to god, if I get killed by a buffalo, I'm going to rage quit. <laughs> it's all going wrong, they won't let me do well in my favourite planes. I'm just going to dive. I'd like to see you catch me now. I know where he's going to catch me in this. Power. Maximum power. 500 miles an hour. Holy crap. Yeah, that's what I thought. You better run. Where's the team? Getting wrecked, apparently. Gotta finish this fast before the wildcat or the buffalo catches up. Okay, there you go. Oh my god. There's a bit too many for me to take on at once. <laughs> okay. Beep, 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 beep. Severe damage, okay, good stuff. Holy crap. No! No! Come on, the airfield is so close. Four kilometers away. I'm leaking something, I think I could tell. I'm leaking fire. Oh! Ouch. Well, we tried. And we failed. On, me, on your channel, there's a video of a tiger cat, bear cat, hell cat, and a wild cat. I saw another video of that same thing, but I want to see your... Um, I don't know why I pinned your message. There you go. Let's have a look. Ooh, you have a video of a KC-135. I have a weird thing for um, the 707. I'm trying to find this video now. Hang on. I'll have to watch it another time. I can't watch it on the stream, obviously. Yeah, you'd think. Uh, <laughs> you'd think self-sealing fuel tanks, but um, like I said, this thing isn't quite modelled as well as it should be. Anyways, back to the Spitfires. Let's try and have a slightly more successful game. Uh, which variant do we play now? That's the question. The 16, maybe? It's not one I particularly like as much. But, um, it's still pretty good. None of the Spitfires in game are bad. Except for the Sea Fire. I don't know what's up with it. Why is it... Why is it so high? <laughs> I mean, it looks like a Mark 9. But it's at a higher battle rating. And has the stats of a Mark V. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's going on... It was just... What? Why? Why is this a thing? Uh, we'll play one of the... one of these. One of these. That looks very nice. We'll play the premium one because I've got a cool skin on it. There you go, look at this. Look at that beauty. Lovely. So this is one of the Griffin Spitfires.
Yeah, I guess Sweden is lacking things at 6.7. I mean, I wouldn't really know because I don't play them, but... I know it makes sense giving them something, but was there really nothing else to choose? Plus, Sweden tends to get vehicles quite often in the Battle Pass. And I'm just saying, there's far more interesting things they could have done. And while the King Tiger could be excused, there's no excuse for the Chinese P-51. Like, what is going on there? Oh yeah, the MiGs are getting moved down. Um, yeah, the Mark 24 has never really been uh, had a nice deal with regards to the matchmaking. But anything lower in it's just going to dominate. I think there should just genuinely be more battle ratings in the game. I think that would make sense. Or just have it so, like, after, say, 6.0, um, an up tier can only go up by, like, one spread or something, rather than a full spread. So if you're in, like, a 6.3, then you can only ever get up tier to 6.7 rather than 7.3. I don't know, I'm brainstorming. Keep pinning your messages by accident. All the cats go rumbling by at AirVenture. Well, that's not fair because <laughs> I love me the cats and uh, they're also hard to come by in the UK. Except for the bear cat. We have one regular bear cat at Duxford. But the rest, yeah. Never seen a tiger cat. I've seen a wild cat in the form of a martlet, but. Um, haven't seen a Hellcat. Sweden's had more than one, haven't they? They've had a... Yeah, they've had like a tank and a plane, I think. Granted, one of the planes was uh, the Mustang. No, they've had three. They've had the uh, VL... Um, I'll, sh the, I'll show it to you after the game. They have like this low-tier plane. I think. Unless that was as a part of another event. Either way, they tend to get event vehicles fairly often. It's called the VL Mirski or something, isn't it? Well, still, I don't know, for me, just the, all the Swedish vehicles just kind of blend together. They all kind of do not feel very unique from each other. I don't think Sweden is the nation that should be getting the most love. Just because America has the most planes doesn't mean you should stop adding the interesting stuff to them. And when they do add stuff, it's like a it's a Sheridan with a different gun. Like, come on. Is that, is that the best you could do? It's like the T-49 tank. The uh, World War II turreted tank destroyer. That would be... Now that would be a fun little battle pass vehicle. Or another way of introducing unique vehicles, they could have like mission vehicles like they do in World of Tanks, like with the um, Object 260 and the Stug 4. Uh, Stug 4, another tank that should be in War Thunder, but um, there you go, that's a story for another time. In fact, that's probably the most requested tank to be in War Thunder, I'm surprised it's not in game yet. It's not necessarily the most interesting thing ever, but it's just amazing that Gaijin haven't added it. Thunder Screech would be amazing. It would be very interesting. I don't think I ever actually had guns, though, even if they intended to put them on eventually. The Thunder Scepter did have guns, though, so I think that would make more sense. Oh, God, there's a zero. If I don't win this head-on, then I'm probably going to lose the dogfight, so... Oh, there you go. Save this Yak 3. 
There's no way he's going to get rid of an A7M. And the thing is, not going to leave your tail once it's on it. Although, I think he's just killed him, so never mind. Boom and zoom time, baby! Okay, no boom. Let's worry, we have enough energy to try again. Let's get him to stall, and then we can come back around. Bring it on, Buster. There you go. Ooh, major lag, wow. What's the FM2? Oh, is that the Wildcat Fish? Oh, that, oh, that is probably one of my favourite names. It's one of the most creative names. They put floats on a Wildcat and call it the Wildcat Fish. That's, it's, it's just so... I don't know, it's so comical. You more seaplanes in the game. Like the Saunders Row and the Sea Dart. And Spitfire with floats. and That sort of thing. Right in the wing. Oh, hello. Another zero. Ooh, there goes his flaps. Unfortunately, zeros are quite hard to dogfight in any plane, even a Spitfire. Oh, I think he's stalled. He's done it wrong. You've done it wrong, sir. Oh, there you go. Look at that. That's our third zero kill this game. In fact, all our kills this game have been Japanese. Get a load of that beauty. I think we might RTB now. We're at cannon. Could you imagine if this um, gunner is the one that kills me? That would be how disappointing that would be. Oh yeah, there's a Wildcat with a better engine, basically. Used in the late war period, yeah. Uh, that would be interesting. I'm a big fan of the Wildcat, so I might play that next, actually. Because I've got some very snazzy skins on all my Wildcats. But yeah, I'd be in total favour of more Wildcats to the game. Just more any World War II plane to the game. Like, more variants of planes that are already in-game. This game's going pretty well. Alright, well, let's drop the speed. Ooh, a JU-188. That's nice to see. JU-288 is toxic as all hell, but the JU-188 is wholesome. Oh, Listen to that griffin. Actually, let me just uh, turn it up a bit. Atmospheric noise. I'm gonna try to show show you guys the sound of this thing starting up. It's pretty epic. If this guy just shuts his engine off. Hang on, our engine's about to turn on again. wait for absolute silence.
Okay, get a load of this glorious griffin might. Once that guy's gone, it's still surprisingly loud. Attack the enemy! So's that. Returning to the airfield. Returning to the base. Yeah. Spitfire AMR. ASMR. the sound of a powerful engine. But now I need to hear things, so... A7M. Can't really take it on while I'm below him, so we're going to try and climb and gain some altitude. Unfortunately, everyone on our team is either in a bomber or our fighters who are rearming, so... Yeah. I'm basically his only target right now. Let's fly towards our base and gain some altitude. We could get an ace game here, guys. You might see it live. Maybe. Oh, he's coming for me. Or oh, is he going for them? He's going for them. Okay, that's not good. No! Leave the JU-188 out of this. He's just hanging out. Okay, but by going for the bomber... He's going to lose his altitude advantage. No! Leave him alone! Leave him alone! And I messed it up, of course. But... No escape, sir! Well, there's no way I was going to save the JU-188, but I can at least avenge him. Am I the only fighter on our team? Oh, no. Okay. We've got one other guy. There you go. Live ace game. You can tell what's going to be our next video on the channel, can <laughs> Oh, man. There's a KI-84, which is a very good plane, but it's not as good of a turn fight. How did... Oh, my God. Oh, the only other fighter on our team has crash-landed and is out the game. Are you kidding? Right, so it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one between me and him. He presently has the altitude advantage, which is not good. So let's try and climb a bit more. I think he knows we're here. Yeah, he definitely knows we're here. But, on the plus side, the KI-84 doesn't turn as well as um, some of the other Japanese planes we've encountered in this game. So it's going to be more of an even dogfight. Just need a bit more altitude. See if this Landcraster wants to cooperate. This is going to be a down to the wire sort of game. Right, I need power in this dogfight, so let's. Um Landcaster, if you're going to bait him, I need you over here. I can win a dogfight, I just gotta survive the head on. You can hear all my thoughts going, all my calculations being made live. Okay. Here we go. Lancaster doesn't seem to want to help after all. I think he knows that I'll win the dogfight. Okay. Just keep turning. He found out what? What's this going on about? Do we turn equally? That's surprising. Or is it just because he has more speed right now? 
Oh, brother. Reversal, come on. Oh, that's close. Oh, no, I messed it up. Oh, no, I didn't. Hey, that's the game. Six kills. <laughs> there you go. Sweaty gaming live. <laughs> there you go. That is your winning game of uh, of the stream. Everything else now is going to be terrible. Just wait. I should have activated my booster. That would have been a lot of money. Ooh. Nice. Okay. And that is why I like that plane. <clears throat> okay, I may as well get some of these daily tasks done. Destroy two player vehicles using a heavy tank. Well, that's not exactly hard. So, how about we use the Pershings? Because I love the Pershings. Uh, we're going to be using the Assault Pershing, the Jumbo Pershing, and the Super Pershing. And yes, I was playing Sim. Um, <laughs> don't judge. I was giving it a go. I was being brave. Didn't go that well. So yeah, that Spitfire's game's going to be a video on the channel in the near future. It's not going to be tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video is going to be on Heliborn, the um, the helicopter game, obviously. Um, if any of you have played that, then you'll know what it is, and you'll have that to look forward to. If you haven't, then I hope you check it out, because it's something different, and it's pretty fun. I really do like what I've done with the decals on this, I just think it just looks really nice. It's a very nice rich green. Okay, Super Pershing, let's live up to the name. No, it's not 7.3. No. I think it's like 6.7. No. I think it's 7 0 max. Well, there's no 6 7s or no 7 3s on our team. It'd be lame if it. Oh, I don't know. Can you do that? You can scout the train? What? I didn't know you could do that. Hello, I see you. Cheeky puma. Little bastard. Sorry, that's a language, but it's a puma. It's justified rage. There you go. <laughs> there you go, there's one of our two kills. I didn't know you could scout the train though, that's weird. Watch this gamer shot, ready? Oh no! I don't even know if a PT-76 can even kill me with heat. Oh, game of shot, there you go! <laughs> he thought he was safe. He was wrong. Well, we've done the daily small task. One step closer to do the IL-8, which I still haven't got. I didn't do a bunch of the challenges. Ah, oh, no, I missed my shot. No, <laughs> quick, get his gunner. Although, he might not have actually known if I fired or not. I think my reload's slower than his. Yeah, he must think I didn't fire. Either that or the charioteer is just giving him a lot to worry about. He's gonna die. One of these guys is about to die. Ready? Watch this. Oh no. Maybe not. 
Oh, there it is. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. He's my teammate, but come on. Oh, avenge you, friend. And he gets me as well. Yeah. I don't know why I was looking to the left there. Um, probably should have been looking straight on. Don't have too many spawn points either. Alright, we'll go on the Pershing then. We've done the heavy tank task, so as well. Got a nice Korean war skin on this thing. Got a hit. Oh, nice skin. Got the jet proper skin. Killed that 262 with his bomb. First side scraper. Oh, that's not how you do that. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, um, that didn't go quite go to plan. Panther's still there. No, he is. He is dead. Okay. There you go. Let's get rid of that AA with some artillery. Healthy dose of artillery. Artillery a day keeps the AA away. Ways. Coast is clear. I can hear a big boy. It is a big boy. Hello, Tiger 2. Oof. That looks like a hurt. I could have had it. Yeah. So we'll turn this game around. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And there goes that guy. Oops.
Okay. Hi there. He probably thinks I'm spawn camping, but I've only just arrived, so. No scope kill. Right. Well, how about we J out the Pershing and uh, jump into an aircraft? Let's jump into one of those uh, caps that we mentioned earlier. So it seems like the enemy have uh, got air superiority at the moment. I don't think we need loads of bombs. There's not many of them left. And they do have aircraft up, so... Okay, here we go. Should deal with the plane first. Looks like a 262. Sierra likes my eight guns of freedom. Are you flying away or towards me? He's flying away. If I didn't have any ordnance on, I'd be gaining on him, but I don't think I am. Though I think he's in too steep a climb to be picking up speed, surely. Yeah, I think he's going to get close to stalling soon. Pretty sure I'm catching up. Just make sure he's not baiting me. Does he even know I'm here? Yeah, it's definitely too late for him now. Oh well. Till next time, 262. Not sure what that is. Oh, he's coming back fast. I'm gonna have to get rid of this bomb quickly. Two forty-four, one hundred. Neat. I one eight five. Don't know how I messed that up so badly, but. It did. I turned suspiciously fast for a T62. I don't know why. I don't remember them turning that quickly. But apparently they do now. Okay. Well, I don't think there'll be much more time for anything else in that game. We have time for one more game this uh, stream, so what are we going to play for the grand finale? If anyone has any suggestions, then now is the time. Okay. That's a pretty successful game overall, though. Earned some money, not bad, not bad. 
Not the greatest game ever, but we did the mission and that's what we were set out to do. That's also not that hard, but we're not going to do that right now. Bam, bam, ba, bam. I forgot I had this skin on this plane. It looks really nice. Uh, what's our... Two assists? Do you reckon we can get two assists in one game? Maybe. What shall I do to do it in, though? Or what shall I play to do it in? That needs to be in my Navy lineup. It has to be ranked three and above. 5.7 US. I could do 5.7. Which plane, though? Oh, right, the M18. I could do that before it gets moved up. Yeah, that would make sense. Just wondering, though. Wow, my crew on this is actually really good. Holy crap. Um, let's see. AM1 Mauler? Yeah, I just, I don't, I'm just looking for things that I can get assists in fairly easily. So probably something with 50 cows. Yeah, the AM1's pretty fun. Somehow I haven't spaded it. Oh, because they added AP bombs, that's why. Let's see. Destruction. Might play it. Who knows? I'm very torn. I'm very torn. Unless we do some... Oh, you know what? We'll play the M18 just because it's going to get moved up soon. And that will make me very sad. Okay. Well, fingers crossed. Um, this goes well. It is possible to get 10 assists in one game. I don't think I've ever done it, but... It is technically possible. Pretty nice skin. Okay, let's do this then. I think we will bring the mauler as well. Just because uh, it brings a whoop-ass amount of bombs. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Wait, the M18 Black Cat's not getting moved up? Why? It's the same as the normal M18, isn't it? Unless they just forgot or something. Okay. It is technically possible to do this. Spawn the, spawn. the only problem with these try and get assist missions is that it usually means that you have to resist killing them yourself, even in situations where it would definitely be the right thing to do, rather than just let them live. Oh, I didn't know it has a worse engine. You can check it after this game. For some reason, this tank destroyer gets the scouting mechanic. So let's try and make it, uh, make use of it. I should probably go down along the beach. Pretty exposed up here, I know. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive, that's for sure. Did I bounce a shell? There's, a, there's an assist. Good start. Scouted target damage. So he's probably got other things to worry about. Scouted target. Destroy it. But it's not an assist. Okay. That could that will give us an assist if that guy dies. Okay. We'll have to do a good start here. I really need that tree to move though. Can I like knock it down? There you go. What's going on? Oh no, that was a. Oh no, wait. Scout to target destroy counts as an assist. I didn't know that. Oh, it's trying to drive off the bridge here. Oh, we did bounce the shell. Look at that. Well, that makes this challenge a lot easier then. Okay. I just gotta find something else to shoot at. Scouted him just in time. He's going to be feeling pretty silly soon. Going up the bridge while scouted. Oh, there you are. Hi there. Do you reckon he sees me? I hope not. Otherwise, I'm screwed if he does. Either way, though, I can't exactly go up here. to leave the for now. Oh, he saw me just in time. Somehow that passed aside and stopped my shell. Oh no, we got each other! <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh no, it wasn't even him, it was someone else. Who has no tracks for some reason. Okay. That makes no sense. Okay, Mauler, bring it on. Well, that was pretty cra crazy, yeah. That was um, fun. That was good fun. Now, let's see what this chonky boy can do. Maybe these smaller bombs will help me get an assist. Oh, hello. Maybe those will help me get some assists.
doesn't matter that we're not killing them because we're not trying to, technically. We're only here for assists. Oh my god. That's a tempting looking... Oh, that's very tempting. Come on, team. Someone hit them, please. How is no one getting them? Pesky BTRs. I might actually have to just play the game rather than try and go for assists here. I'm not sure. They're getting pretty close to our spawn from what I can tell. any heavy tanks to counter them either. Where was our team? What happened? <laughs> I thought we were doing pretty well. ridge. Well, I can't see him over the ridge, even though I can shoot over the ridge. There you go. Slightly better. Ouch. Seventy six just J out. What? Okay. Uh, I'm not really sure how we can win this game, to be honest, but I'm going to try. Just spawned in, leave me alone. Oh no, now what? Where's the guy from earlier? Another assist. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, I'm clipping that. What just happened? What? <laughs> okay. I need more thunder. At least this is a battle map. So even though we have a non-existent team, we aren't actually losing. Tanks been through the ringer. Easy game, you made it. Welcome to the stream. We're near the end now, but um, even though we are overrunning here, but this has been a quite a chaotic game to be honest. That doesn't sound good. I can hear a bomb. Oh, it was a P8. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But I can still go on my Thunderbolt with full ordnance as well. So you can bet I'm going to do that. How's it going? It's going pretty well. Had a fun stream. A lot of people have been here, which is quite nice to see. Makes me very happy. May as well say it now, guys. If you are disappointed that the stream is uh, coming to an end, then don't forget that I released a video earlier today, so you'll get to see some more of me doing some gameplay. Uh, it'd be nice to see that one um, 
do reasonably successful as well. I've had some funky games in the Ag Panther, and that is one of them. Die. That was that Tigris from earlier. Apparently there's an IL-2 somewhere. But I don't know where. I'm going to save this 500 pounder just in case. Did the IL-2 die, chat? Oh. Yeah, thank you for the uh, kind words. Yeah, it's a pretty big milestone for the channel. And it's continuing to rise as well, so I might have to do another celebration video soon. You never know, by next week's Friday games, we might be celebrating 2,500 subscribers, so there you go. Oh my god, what did I just witness? Well, at least you got two of them. That's an AA. Looks like a verbal bend. Attack the A point. I refuse. What do you mean you refuse? Just do it. There's no one in there. Oh no, there is someone. Good thing I saved that bomb. You're welcome. Oh god, what is that? What is that? Ow. Ow. That hurt. Quite a bit. Aha! Maybe. Maybe. 3k stream. I wish. You never know. If it keeps spreading, then I might. attention and bait him into a head on. Thank you for the support. War Thunder is a very mentally draining experience, so yeah. Can do it without you. Oh, the PE8's back. Did! No, he didn't. He just killed our team. I'll take you down. Is he going down? I'm not sure. It is the highest so far. 18 likes. 18 whole likes, I know. 19 now, crazy. One of them is me, granted, but, um, you know, I'm trying. Hey, another assist! Holy crap. That's so many. Ooh. Hide, hide, hide. Tank corpses don't despawn anymore. It's 
Another assist! Yay! <laughs> oh, we're actually pretty close. We're at 10. I'm at oh, we failed! Well, I suppose they did cap A. That was a good game to end on, though. That was <laughs> pretty funny. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That's going to bring an end to the stream. That was a brilliant one. That really was great. So, there you go. 2,000 subscriber stream. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed Friday Games. If this was your first Friday Games, well, hopefully we can see you again in more in the future. Because, well, it was a fun time. And I hope you guys had a fun time as well. Once again, just saying a big thank you for 2,000 subscribers. Finally, this will be the last time, I promise. And uh, if you like this video, if you like this stream, then do check out the other videos on the channel. There's plenty of content with uh, new videos being uploaded nearly every day. So, um, yeah, you have that to look forward to if you haven't already. So, anyways, thank you all for coming along. Um, so, uh, yeah. Sorry, I was trying to read comments while doing my outro. I just gave up on feeling anything towards War Thunder LOL. If they do, wonderful. If not, I told you so, LOL. Well, hopefully my videos on War Thunder do uh, at least spark some joy, even if you don't enjoy it yourself. There you go, guys. If you like this, then um, do check out the other stuff on the channel. Give the stream a like if you had fun. And of course, uh, thank you for coming along. And I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, I didn't press pause. I didn't step. I didn't press stop. <laughs> Oops.